Hey everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 20 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, in the last episode I played as Zhen Ji of Wei, so now let's play as Meng Wu of the Nanmon forces. And this will be the second and final Nanmon officer I play as. After thwarting Shu's campaigns to the north countless times, the Kingdom of Wei ultimately went on the offensive and quickly occupied the Shu capital Chengdu. With Shu out of the way, the Wei forces selected Nanman as their next target. Nanman King Meng Wu had grave concerns about the coming battle. The Wei forces were far superior in terms of troop numbers and equipment, and as an army, they had much more battlefield experience. But Meng Wu was the king of Nanman. He could not back down. As Nanman King, Meng Wu ordered his subjects, officers, and even his beloved wife Zhu Rong to evacuate Nanjiang. Meng Wu would face this enemy alone, with the pride of a king as his only weapon. Okay, so for this you're obviously not allowed bodyguards, because remember, you're doing this by yourself. Okay, so the Wei forces are led by Sima Zhao, the son of Sima Yi, who of course was leading Wei at the time when Shu was conquered. So the King of Nanman is his weapon with a level 17 tortoise amulet, level 15 speed scroll, level 16 winged boots, yeah, Meng Wu jumping is a nightmare even though it's not really effective in battle, and a level 20 herbal remedy, so charge attacks are going to be lethal. That means I can change around my equipment quite a bit. I likely won't be needing this. Let's go with... I don't know, let's go with the Horned Helm, because I'm going to be on horse a lot, given how slow he still will be. Uh, Wind Scroll may not be that effective. I think we'll go with... Well, there's not really much archer, so Muso armor may not be that effective either. I think we'll go with the elixir for this. There is a special item you can get here called the War Drum that allows you to have morale easier. You have to seal all the strongholds before the enemy seals your one stronghold. That was hard to do because you're heavily outnumbered. I had to do it in beginner mode and even that required me to fail once. So, let's get started. The Wei forces are approaching our territory! What should we do? We really don't stand a chance. You lot! Evacuate all the troops and civilians! Sweetheart! Look after everybody, all right? Goodbye! Hey, tough guy. You're not gonna hear it from there. Yeah! I'm the Nanman King! Come and get me if you dare! Savages, so you refuse to yield, do you? Very well. Then you shall all be eliminated! Okay, getting his weapon out of sea actually was not that hard at all. What you have to do is defeat all the way officers so you can save your other troops. And once you save them, you should get the weapon. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> I got him. Yeah, it's poetic irony. Poetic irony that the Nanmon forces are outnumbered. What are you doing? Why'd you come back? I saved Yang Feng by defeating that officer. This is our land. It is our responsibility to defend it. And of course, they would return to help you. You're a bunch of idiots. Idiots. Okay, I can make a beeline for Sima Zhao right away, but why would I do that? We have to fight harder. Sima Zhao, the son of Sima Yi. Oh yes. Isn't this Sima Yi the one who keeps losing to Juge Liang? Well, I don't really think that's true at all. Dare you insult my father? You shall regret this! There. Jaho Wei's been beaten. So let me go save that other officer. Not to mention there's two to the north being attacked by Dong Ai and Zhang Wei. So I gotta defeat them quickly. At least those two actually were Dynasty Warriors playable characters back in 7. Then again, so was Sima Zhao. I think Sima Zhao was one of the first people you could play as in Warriors Orochi 3. 
I got that game for the Wii U, even though I never finished it yet. It's actually a lot of fun in Warriors Orochi series. Oh, Gaudin got beaten. I mean, just a mixture of Dynasty Warriors, Samurai Warriors, and other characters from certain uh, Koei games. Aww, I lost an officer. Oh jeez, those two over there. Oh, Mon Yo got beaten. Now, if certain officers get get killed, they will sacrifice themselves to actually slay the officers they were fighting. So in this case, Zhang Wei can get beat just by having Dalai Dongju get sacrificed. Sweetheart, you too? <laughs> now I really have to win. <laughs> I got him. I'm sorry I couldn't stay with you. I'm too. Oh, just had a bit of desync there during that touching moment, so just give me a minute to get set up again. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue on here. Still got some time to save Ju Rong. Luckily, if all your officers die, you won't get a fail for it. It's only if you die. Of course I'd be here. Otherwise, you know, I wouldn't get laid. But anyways, let's continue on here. Now's our chance to defeat Sima Zhao. Rong struggling again? Just saved her ass. No, I didn't want to target you. Alright, Sima Zhao, let's do this. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Bowly ball! This is certainly a much better church than probably the sixth one. Well, then again, it doesn't really matter. Done. <laughs> I got him. Hate can be cruel. I find it weird that Mongo's level 11 weapon looks very similar to his default one, or maybe rather like the level 7 through 9 weapons. But still, they're still very potent. Oh, that mission itself only took like four minutes. Getting through that pretty quickly. So, anyways, enjoy the ending. Born in Nanjong, Nanman King Mongwo long resisted the rule of the Central Plains and engaged in countless skirmishes, skirmishes along Shu's border. Finally, Shu's Zhuge Liang began a campaign to Nanman territory. Mongwo proved no match for Zhuge Liang's strategies and was captured by him seven times before he finally yielded. But in the end, Mongwo was once again given control over Nanjong. Thus, Nanjong enjoyed good relations with the North for a short while. But that all changed when Shu was conquered by the Wei army, which then sought to conquer Nanjong as well. Seeing that the Wei forces outnumbered his own forces greatly, Mongwo came to a decision. He told his people and his beloved wife to flee while he led a solitary charge into enemy lines. Mongwo's determination and ferocity stunned the Wei forces. Furthermore, the Nanman forces led by Zhu Rong had turned back to assist the Nanman king. Mongwo overcame the odds and routed the Wei forces. Henceforth, Nanjiang was deemed off-limits by the north, and Mongwo went down in history as the greatest hero of Nanjiang, and was shunned by the internet for being like John Cena at the end. Alright, so I'll stop the video right here. In the next part, I will be playing as Wu leader Sun Jian. Well, old Wu leader. See you later, everyone.